Main article. Starkiller's trial of insight. I know you're kind. Confused. Alone. And I will learn what you fear most. Simulacrum of Darth Phobos. To Starkiller when Starkiller returned to the Jedi Temple, he found that security had been increased after his first intrusion. This time the soldiers guarding the entrance were reinforced directly by Imperial Senate Sentinels and the garrison within had snipers incorporated into their ranks. Despite the heightened opposition, Starkiller had little trouble decimating the Imperial ranks, even with the continued reinforcements they received from other areas of the temple. As he exited the main entrance hall, Starkiller experienced another vision, his father's voice warning him not to be blinded by anger. Entering the Jedi archives, Starkiller cleared the chamber. At that moment, however, he saw Juno eclipse at the head of the hall, bent over as if in pain. As Starkiller approached, Juno, leapt into the air and transformed into Darth Phobos. Yet another holographic simulation, Darth Phobos was a powerful Sith Lord who fed off the fears of her enemies, assuming the shape of these horrors through various force-based illusions. Phobos' literal reign of terror made her the enemy of both the Jedi and her own Sith colleagues, prompting an unprecedented alliance between the two factions to bring her down. As with Desilus, she left such a long-standing impression on the Jedi that she was honored, with a holographic simulacrum modeled after her, which Jedi Padawans were tested against during their trials. Also like Desilus, her simulation remained intact, despite the widespread destruction within the Jedi Temple. The hologram's aggressive fighting tactics encouraged Starkiller to adopt more passive methods, though he fought back ably, and the simulation retreated into the shadowed archive shelf stacks. His vision clouded by the simulacrum's imitation force abilities, Starkiller prowled the stacks in search of his opponent. Fending off the hologram's surprise assault, Starkiller sent it crashing into the book stacks. As the hologram weakened, it began adopting more desperate tactics, teleporting around the room and projecting illusionary copies of itself to double up on Starkiller. It even attempted disguising itself as Juno Eclipse to make him hesitate, though Starkiller remained unfazed. Sending the Phobos hologram crashing through the book stacks again, Starkiller advanced to deliver the finishing blow, ignoring the hologram's final attempt at dissuasion and running his lightsaber through its chest. With his victory over Darth Phobos, Starkiller had faced his fears and completed his trial of insight. It was then that Darth Vader appeared, speaking via proxy once more. The Dark Lord congratulated his young apprentice for succeeding against Phobos, and then charged Starkiller with hunting down the former Jedi Council Master Shark T on Felusha. Before cutting the link to proxy, Vader warned Starkiller that he would need the full power of the dark side to defeat the legendary Jedi. 